Yes, Yoel's right. Hi, I'm David. I, uh, Hi. My name is Yoel Israel. Hello, I'm Ashley Merman. What else? I made Ali Aga three years ago. Philadelphia, Long Island, New York. My name is Yoel Israel. And what else? Where are you from? Philadelphia, United States. Okay, so I'm Maggie. I'm from Argentina and Costa Rica. I don't know where to say I'm from. I'm Nina. Uh, I'm from Russia, originally. Okay, so I'm Sam, I'm from Scotland, and I've been living in Israel for two years, no, under two years. Hi, I'm David. I uh, originally from London, England, and I've been in Israel for 25 years. I'm Natalia, I'm from Ukraine. Hi, I'm Tzvia, born and raised in Yerushalayim in Israel. Lived here my entire life. Hello, I'm Asher Newman. I made Aliyah about three years ago from Long Island, New York. Yes beautiful country that's big. I've never visited India. I've studied with a lot of Indians. I've worked with a lot of Indians in America. Um, I also have a co-worker named Revital. She's my only negative experience about Indians. Um, but I think India is what I've learned through the culture and the people is one, the people are terrific, that they're extremely diverse, even though it doesn't seem that way, both in values and ideas and kind of, and culturally. They have a very strong culture on their own that's independent, which I hope continues. And I think that they're terrific when it comes to the world, when it comes to, let's say, um, freedom and liberal values, but also has that right balance of spirituality and traditional values and those things that are really rooted, you know, in what's really important in life. I really, it's like a whole different culture for me. Like, I don't know that much. You're the first Indian person I know. Yeah, my parents uh, went to India once. My dad had a, like a, a, a congress there, so he took my mom. And from what I heard from them, it's like there's a lot of contrast, and that's why, like, my mom especially, it was hard for her like to go out from a very luxurious hotel and all the food and everything, and then to have like all the poverty and like kids asking for food and people showering in the streets like that's very shocking and for my parents it was like they couldn't enjoy as much the trip because they were like oh my god like I'm seeing all this that's happening and like uh, a lot of people in a very small town in a very small place kids asking for food for money and then they go to like this big event and it's like I don't know, like it's hard. Well, I've never been to India. Uh, the reason I've never been to India because I kind of was afraid. Overcrowded place, not very clean that I always thought. So my first attempt to be near to India was in Sri Lanka. Oh. And I realized that I was the dirtiest person there because I was, you know, the tourist, never showing like, all day with my backpack and everything. Uh -huh. And all the people were so nice, sweet and clean. Uh -huh. and, like, Oh, well, maybe I was wrong about India, so next time I will do that, but I never did it. Uh, I think India is a fast developing country um, with lots of development going on, mm -hmm. but um, also still problems with large amounts of poverty as well. Mm -hmm. um, I hear it's cheap to visit, I hear there's great places to visit and the people are very friendly, fun to be with and welcoming and I really don't know much else. I have some good friends from my high school, Jazdeep Singh, Amar Patel, great people, we had a laugh, um, but I always had a question, if India is so great, why are you in London? Uh, nice friends of the family, the Patambas, great people, we had a laugh. Yet again, if it's so great in India, why are you in London? That's all I had to say, but apart from some cities actually having black air and driving even worse than Israelis. All I know about India really is there's some awesome people, awesome places, and uh, it's great. I have to look around, I have to visit Israel properly before I start going anywhere else, but one day maybe I'll be in, in India. So I've been to India. <laughs> wow. Just uh, for a few days, uh -huh. uh, but in a couple of different places. Hot and humid. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> curry. curry, curry taste. <laughs> yeah, including sweets, so that was a surprise. People are actually very open compared to, um, to other countries in Asia, which is, I mean, it was, it was cool. It was a really cool experience. I love India. I wish I was in India right now, actually. Um, 
and he has a dream it's a different time feeling the the people the vibe the food mm-hmm. ah the smells it's like a different whole new world um, yeah. it's beautiful and gorgeous and colorful and people are so lovely and and happy and ah oh, they're the best and my opinion of India is multifaceted on the one hand they have an incredible amount of culture and incredible amount of languages on the one hand you I've learned how not to say namaste um, but also you know it's it feels like uncharted territory for a person who was born and raised in the Western world it just feels like it's a lot of things I just don't know about and I'm really curious to learn more about it I would visit India absolutely I've actually talked to friends about it and uh, especially about the perspectives of what you should feel like when you go to India because in the one hand it's you It's different it's a different territory but on the other hand it's a whole nother culture a whole nother world and so going there where they don't speak your language where they don't do the same things you do and when you give a high five is not necessarily the same thing that you know they would say for the same exact you know behavior it's it's a whole perspective change is a paradigm shift just traveling to a whole nother place like that I just would be very curious to be see that paradigm shift and expand my mind a little bit. I think India is going to be leading the world into the 21st century, especially the second half of the 21st century. They got a lot of things going right there that the rest of the world doesn't. I think a very strong culture, a very strong history. They have a terrific birth rate. I think these are all things that are very promising for the future of uh, the economy of India and the world. It's too far away. I wish they were closer. <laughs> and there should be I, more Indian Jews. <laughs> yes. I know people also go like on a, like spiritual trips there. I'm, in, I, I'm intrigued to visit. Uh, I don't know if it's like, like my top priority to go. Uh, but yeah, I, like for these spiritual trips, what I always said, say from what my mom told me, it's like, how can you get spiritual when you're seeing the reality, like the hard reality people live in. So yeah, that's what I know and think of India. <laughs> I like India food. I don't like in the smell of India food. Mm-hmm. So very done. It's very strong. Strong and it dominates. Like it's, uh, you know, you can, you, you can smell Indian restaurant a uh, few streets back. <laughs> I think they're very nice people. Like all, all Indian people that I met, uh, we talked to, from support, I talked to a lot. They are very nice people and I think it comes from, ni- uh, from their culture because it's not because they're trying to be nice, it's very natural, like, like we're naturally nice. It's like coming from inside, from, you know, it's a cultural thing. So that's what I really like about Indian people, they, they love people. Well, uh, chicken masala, I'd imagine, is the best. Um, other than that, like, food is uh, food is spicy but different spice a different kind of spicy that you know like you would expect from Asian food um, I've been to Mangalore to Cochin Cochin yeah, yeah Cochin. you know Cochin yeah. um, to several places like uh, overall I would actually I would consider spending vacation there Ooh, uh, awesome. but like I still don't haven't really figured out what would be the best place for uh, for me for example if I would go with my spouse I will give you all this <laughs> okay cool actually my husband and I want to go like on a whole like six month trip with the whole family mm-hmm. and India is definitely gonna be one of the stops I know that curry is apparently a tongue burner for an Ashkenazi Jew so I really want to try that out and um, then call up an ambulance almost immediately to just check my tongue afterwards but I feel like I should be fine. Thank you.